Well, to quote my wife, we are now getting internet from Mars. <laughs> no, she knows it's not Mars. She just made a mistake. Yes, we're getting internet from space, from the satellites. Now, this is nothing new, but of course the way Elon and team over at SpaceX does it, it's a little bit different. But first off, this thing is so massive, it barely fits on my desk, obviously. So let's jump over to the quick unboxing, show you what's inside. So you can see we got the nice SpaceX logo here. This box is not small. And as you can see, this is literally the first time I have opened this. Because I wanted you to have my 100% honest first impressions. Okay, here we go. Oh man, this box is massive. <laughs> okay. So, like I've seen, we install the app, we throw up the satellite. I'm just gonna throw it in my probably garage or front yard somewhere, not uh, in my garage, obviously. Uh, we plug in the modem and finish it up on the phone. Pretty straightforward. This is a pretty massive piece of paper for just having that, but I don't think they want you to miss it. Then we have, obviously, the thing that holds everything in. I've noticed this on some of the other, you know, review videos, because I did some of my research, obviously, and like, what is this plastic piece for? That's not holding in anything. I'm wondering if, depending on what kits you order, because there are different kits you can order based on installing and all that, maybe if you order different kits, your box might look a little different. Okay, so this mount, uh, it's, it's all metal, you can hear there, but, uh, I was expecting a little more heft than this, um, but you know, you're either going to screw it down or you will use, um, you know, sandbags, big, big sandbags on probably each leg. That's kind of standard procedure there. And then they already have it all wired in for you and color coded, which I'll show you in a minute here. But these cables are nice and thick and already in there. I'm going to disconnect them. But these are nice, thick network cables. Um, I've worked in IT for 16 plus years, so I understand when I see a, a good cable. And yeah, yeah, great cable. And we'll look more, more detail in a minute here. I just kind of want to show you what's in there. This is plugged, aux. I'm not sure what aux is for, but obviously they want that plugged for now. And then Starlink, got the Starlink ID. Probably gonna gray that out so you don't see that piece. And then this is integrated. So this is a PoE injector and it's not just your standard PoE injector, obviously. Um, so it takes in the 100, let's see, output 56 volt at 0.3 amp, but a total max of 180 watts. Holy smokes. Uh, but that wattage, I believe, is for melting snow, which is perfect because right now it is currently negative 20 degrees where I live, and that is not fun at all. So I'm glad that they, they actually thought of the feature of being able to melt snow off of this dish when it's on your roof. So you don't have to go out in the middle of a snowstorm. So that's fantastic. Uh, I believe this is a 100-foot cable. I will verify that here in a bit when we get another look. But you got the little pins here. These are just quick reset pins. Oh, this thing's pretty heavy. Quick reset with a spring. They feel nice and durable. This is a plastic shell. And then again, this is, feels like there's a some sort of film on there. Um, it's not just a, a plastic. And I don't know a ton about satellite technology, but I have had to set them up before. And I'm not going to manually move this because I know that there is a motor in there that will auto do it for us. So that's a quick look. They do have a little instruction manual here, it looks like. So if you need those, but okay, let's jump back. Welcome back from that unboxing. I hope you liked it as much as I did. And I am Scott with Before You Buy, where we do all kinds of reviews on tech and home and fitness equipment. So if that sounds interesting to you, please consider subscribing. Now, Starlink is pretty incredible depending on your internet options. Now, 
I literally have the fastest internet in the nation. Yes, we've been featured in, you know, magazines, PC magazine and all that as one of the fastest in the nation. One millisecond ping and up to 10 gigabit fiber to the home. But not everyone has those same options, including my close friends who are not very many miles away and my family members, right? So if you're you know 15 minutes away you don't quite have the same options i do now that's where this can come in especially if you're in rural iowa or montana or who knows where using internet from satellites now let's take a look at this hardware because i do think again it's pretty high quality jumping over here one thing my son said is it looks like a cyber truck and i thought that was pretty hilarious myself but uh you know it it is shaped kind of very uniquely um and it's, wow, it's supposed to sit up like this so kind of like a diamond shape and here's the poe injector uh one thing i absolutely love is the fact that they do have this black on black and white on white for their internet cables so it's very simple to set up so one comes in here right and that goes clearly to the white ox or the, the white box i should say uh, now the aux port, I will be testing this later. Obviously the aux port is for you hooking up your own network behind their satellite box. Okay. Now I have also heard that you can just plug your personal router directly into here and not even use their box. I will also be testing that in an upcoming video. So make sure you subscribe to that. Now, again, if you don't, if you haven't been to the channel very often, you might not know that I have like 15, 16 years of IT experience. And I can tell you, I mean, the quality of these products are insane. This PoE injector, um, I've used some pretty cheap PoE injectors and I've fried some stuff over the years. Uh, I've used some PoE switches. Um, and this one, you can tell it's built solid. It has tons of power. Now, I will say, that it does send heat out to your satellite dish, right? That way it can melt that snow and keep up with the, you know, melting of that. So then that way it doesn't block your signal. Brilliant. But I will also say that for my setup <laughs> this past week, again, it was negative 20 and it's still <laughs> negative 34 now, right now, wind chill. It's insane. But for my setup and my temperature, it was not able to keep up with the snow. Now, I think this is pretty rare because number one, most places aren't gonna get to negative 34 and rarely does it snow when it's that cold, but it actually did snow and it was that cold and we actually had to go out and break off some of that ice and that snow off the satellite. Now, before we did that, the speeds were still acceptable. We were still getting like 20 to 50 down, which isn't bad. Uh, once we broke that off, it went from like 50, uh, uh, jumped up to like 50 to 120. So that's pretty incredible that it was still working with that much blockage. And you know, I, the fact that they even have that built in there to melt that off, I think that's pretty brilliant. For the initial testing, basically what I did is I screwed down the mount to this jump box that we had, because we could also do Ninja. And that way it would be in my backyard off the snow, obviously. And then I plugged in the satellite and used the you know snapping pins, line them up, plugged it in, ran the cable through the snow all the way up to the house, opened up my window, again, negative 20, here comes the snow, here comes everything flying inside, but I got it connected, got it tested, got it plugged in, the satellite does its thing, starts moving, gets set up, and opened up the app, and I, as you can see, I walk through the setup process, which literally takes about two minutes. All you do is basically type in your username, or the SSID, I should say, what you want that wireless network to be called, and then you type in a password, and you basically reconnect to your new wireless network once it's set up, and it is as simple as that. I am blown away at how easy it was to set it up and impressed because, you know, m most people don't have 15 years of IT experience. Most people don't have the know-how of how to do some of this stuff. So I love that tech companies are starting to make this stuff easier so the everyday user can get them set up without question. So right away after I did have this set up, I used my speed test instantly. And of course I still had some tree blockage, but it was still getting some decent speeds, but then I moved it even farther away. And I've been basically running speed tests 
<laughs> nonstop the net last couple days as it's been sitting out there so I could give you guys some better information. And, uh, you know, I have seen up to 120 down, which is pretty incredible, but I would say kind of hovering around, you know, that 40 millisecond ping with about mostly a 50 to 20 speed. Uh, but, you know, there's been a lot of other speeds in there, some faster, some slower. Now, so all in all, I'm excited for the Tesla Cybertruck internet and <laughs> keep using it. And if you have questions, please leave them down below. I am going to be doing more testing on, you know, using the aux port, but also plugging my own probably Google Wi-Fi directly into this and see what happens. But then also I have an exciting person that knows a lot about SpaceX, a lot about what they're all doing and how many satellites and all that. He's gonna help answer some of those questions as well. So if you're interested, make sure you smash that subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up on this video. It really helps my channel. Until next time, thanks for watching. I hope I helped. See ya.